Professor. Thanks. Grander Field is in the Empire. It's actually part of my family's territory, House Burglies. It is the largest field in all of Fodlin. The grain it produces sustains the whole Empire. Wait, I sure hope we don't destroy all that grain. It is considered the most suitable place for a large-scale battle. Professor, if it were up to you, how would you approach this battle? That sounds like a certain someone we both know. But as you wish, we'll use whatever strategy you think is best. If the Black Eagle House bands together, we won't lose. Our strength is superior. So if we do lose, it will be on your shoulders, Professor. If you're not confident you can do this, just sit back and leave it to me. <laughs> the most you will do is make things worse. You'll just get in Lady Edelgard's way. Are you two about to fight? Oh, <laughs> count me in! Wait, no, no, I think we all need to calm down. We have no lack of opponents. I am ready to go hunting for our enemies. Hunting isn't exactly... Well, I guess they're pretty similar, actually. I'm just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. What? No, that's not what I meant! Good work, Bernie. This will be your first battle, won't it, Flane? You don't seem nervous at all. <laughs> I shall give it my all. Our battle will begin shortly. The flag of the Black Eagles will soon grace Grander Field. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, Show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. The ballista in the center of the battlefield. The house that secures it will have a clear advantage.
Focused. I will prevail. Ugh, battle. Black Eagle. you to jump out there. Now we've got no choice. Capture the central hill. be nothing. Each battle, a chance to grow. as expected.
how this... Sorry, but it's about time I make my exit. The rest of you, please finish the job. Careful, please. I'm stronger than I look. I will remove you! I will not be stopping. Hey, not bad. How far can I push myself with you as my foe? This will be a great chance to test our metal. Do not underestimate me, Professor, or you will fail. I'm on it. Mindful. No hesitation. I fear I cannot fight any longer. I'm sorry, everyone. Please continue onward to victory. I have no need of for Lady Edelgard. Show me more. <sighs> it's over. As expected. Stay focused. Each battle, a chance to grow. Such that is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... The Black Eagles! Thank you for your hard work, everyone. I dare say that prize is as good as ours. Edelgard, Professor, that was a spectacular battle. You both fought exceptionally well. Complete and utter defeat. I would hate to make an enemy of you two. No need to get carried away with praise. I know you both feel we won by a paper-thin margin. And I won't deny it. If we were to fight again, there's no telling who would prevail. What do you think, Professor? Professor? Well, I suppose it's okay to let victory go to your head just this once. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. True, although the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was originally named after a war between the Empire and the Kingdom. But that's all in the past. I'm sure even the name will one day fade from the pages of history. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. It would be a fine opportunity to get to know each other better. Count me in. So be it. Let's plan to meet up on the night we return. Is that okay with you, Professor? Seeing such a big smile on your face is a rare gift. It makes me feel like I can maybe relax a little too.
It's finally over. There are way too many strangers at that feast. Put your chin high, Bernie. It was a chance for you to have growth. But, but everyone was acting so friendly. It was overwhelming. Linhart, I wasn't done talking to you. If those Alliance guys came at it from here, and those Kingdom guys came from there... I know, I know. We'd have been able to take them out all at once. I heard you. I'm going to bed now. Did anyone get the feeling that there were already couples forming? That's not really fair, is it? I wanted to sneak off with someone too. <laughs> I was hoping for some tea after our meal anyway. Would you care to join me? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Mr. Noble. I already have my heart set on someone else. Until today, I thought it would fall to me to command and guide our ranks all by myself. But with you leading us, I've gotten to experience what it's like to fight alongside everyone. And I've realized how happy it makes me, fighting under your command. The Emperor doesn't take orders from anyone. It's their duty to stand alone and lead the entire Empire. But maybe it's better to have someone to rely on, so that you can support and guide each other through the darkness. I may be heir to the Imperial Throne, but first and foremost, I'm your grateful student. That will never change, even when I fulfill my destiny and become the Emperor. I told you long ago that I wished to enlist you in the service of the Empire. Well, I take it back. Now I wish only for your continued guidance during my eventual reign. Don't just hide away in the corner, Professor. You're the reason we're celebrating. It's because of you that I've had the courage to leave my room for a bit each day. I'm... I'm so grateful, Professor! <laughs> we were all just discussing how well you led us. Remarkable! Your guidance is without parallel, Professor. <laughs> I have had practicing of that phrase. Your training's been top-notch, really. <laughs> Whatever would we do without you? I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. I feel the same. You are something special, my teacher. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts, and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the Knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the Goddess protect you all. Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. 
The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramayar Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> huh? Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try. But I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. I would like to act. Ah. Professor. You look unwell. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Don't speak of it aloud. You can't change the past. For now, all we can do is use it to our advantage. I know that. I also know that I must steel myself to ascend the Imperial Throne. Those preparations are going well. We... Uh, someone is coming. Professor, I heard about our mission for this month. Something terrible is happening in Ramire Village. That's where you were when fate sent you our way. This feels... preordained. Are the Knights making progress with their investigation? If what is happening there is by design, there must be someone pulling the strings. There is the Death Knight, of course, and the mysterious mages who were implicated with the Western Church. They showed up when Flane was kidnapped as well, and now there is another strange occurrence near the monastery. It seems an unknown organization hopes to make the monastery its stage for something. Do you believe that all these incidents are connected, Professor?
That is the logical conclusion, but I'm not so sure. It certainly appears that all of the events surrounding the monastery are connected by a single thread. However, I think it's possible that it may just be a result of different motives overlapping. Remember, Professor. If you think of people as simply enemies or allies, it may be impossible to grasp the truth. Much appreciated. We can handle very well. We've I'm beginning to understand better than before. Is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? And yet, it feels familiar, as though pulled from a corner of my memory, from a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. What? Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Hey, it's not like I'm bothering her. Sorry for the ruckus, Professor. Please don't worry about it too much. Nothing to worry about here. Uh, I wish you would worry about it a little more. Hmm. This... This is my first time working with THE Gerald. The legend known across the ages as the Bladebreaker. And I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. <sighs> Happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. Hmm, the librarian is always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He'd better come back soon. <laughs> ah, Professor! The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodland after all. Thanks. Wow, 
Oh. Oh, wow, thanks. Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? Perhaps. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? Your character must be stronger than most. Investigating Ramayar Village. Be on your guard. Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Ramayar. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumor suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month. But this month, oh, this month. <laughs> That's exactly what Captain Gerald said. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. about Ramire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. Then what could it be? No. Hey, I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Yeah, he's pretty important in the Empire. I thought I mentioned it to you before. 
He's the Minister of Military Affairs. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Hey! What is it? Uh, sorry, I've, um... I've got a cold! Um, thanks! Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Professor, the tournament, why? Oh, <laughs> oh like tomorrow. I have a request. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before, and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. A moment, please. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. What's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Hey you, do me a favor. Uh. Professor. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Let me get this. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear, and the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? If it were indeed a disease, why would it only affect the villagers and not infect the night station there? Professor, what have you got there? That's... my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for! I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. I am in your debt. I thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, 
Another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Professor, I've been watching your class activities, and I wondered if you might desire my help. Just say the word, and I'll pitch in. Of course, I have to be truthful. It's all just a ploy to make it easier to research your crest. Feel free to call on me anytime. I'll be happy to lend a hand. And then you can help out with my class, too. <laughs> it's a joke, Professor. I'd never put a burden on you, a first-year teacher. Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Oh, disappointing. Ramire Village is an Empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Ramire Village that Alois found you. Professor, I heard about Ramire Village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. Oh? Well, that's better. But I wonder what the real cause could be. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor. Even if they're not exactly based on anything. Hey, uh. hmm. Well... Professor, how are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Just my natural talent, nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Professor! I could use your... I could use your... Huh? You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance, as Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. Professor? You look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Pardon me. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Saros. Still, I have a particular fondness for St. Sethleen. I have something to ask of you. Hello there! Hmm. During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the Goddess protect all of you. of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. 
At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times... I am missing those places so painfully. Um... Good day, Professor. Well then, I should go. Meyer Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. world is happening in Remire Village. I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? That would be me if you weren't my teacher. Locked away in my room, reading, napping, never to be seen. You know, I never see Bernadetta outside of class. I wonder what it is that she does in her room all day. how Remeyer Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the queen consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Really? Hey. The knights go out from Garrig Mock to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Professor. Professor! Captain Geralt just told me. Remeyer Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Were you not feeling okay? You seem fine to me. I hope you're not just saying that. We can't have you putting on a brave face, only to fall in battle. Professor! The situ Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mock. To Remire Village. It was in Remire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. It would half a year. Hello? 
Impressive. Thanks. Let me have that. Here, I'll give you this in return. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. You have my thanks. Well... Hey, uh... Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey! It worked out perfectly! Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Thanks, Professor. This is great. Really? you've got there. Would you mind trading it with me for this? Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. Um, Professor? It's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. You brought it, Professor? Hand it over and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me? I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Seems the professor likes you better than me. Thanks! Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. Of the four... It was four... Ah. You can't hear if I take as you were saying. Of the it was ah. You can't if I take as you were saying. <laughs> 